Yo, what's going on guys? We've got the Razer Panthera arcade stick and we have the PS4 Razer Raiju gaming controller. What I'm going to be doing today is reviewing both of them and seeing how how they do, how they feel and yeah, just showing you what's in the box. Alright, so we're looking at the Razer Raiju. This is a gaming controller by Razer. Um, it's different design than the normal PS PS4 controller. Looking at it, I was like, I want something different. I wanted something that kind of looks a bit like an Xbox controller. This is it. The normal PS4 controller pads average around maybe £45, £50, £40 you can get them for. This here is averaging around 150 Now, I want to know why it's averaging around that price. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the box and show you what's in it. And yeah, I'm going to have a look at the pad and also test it out. So you know you got the detailed, I like the way how this is pretty much detailed and how how to change the pad stuff. You know, as I showed you before, you could take these parts off, add them on, fully you can customize them, take off take off the rubber grip caps. So yeah, it seems pretty cool. And the oh you get a razor sticker. Don't mind if I do, man. Alright, so you get a nice gaming pouch. Congratulations, there's no turning back. This is a nice message here. Okay, so this is like that ropey kind of material. It's not the plastic kind of like leather material. This is the ropey one. It's nice. It's got the end protectors there, which is really nice. No, you don't want to damage your ends. Woo! Can you guys see that? Can you see that? This is crazy. And you got a tweaker as well. Okay, so you got a tweaker here as well. You got extra buttons here. I don't know what these buttons are. Okay, the D-pad seems smaller than the PS4 one. Like, I feel like I need to show you guys the PS4 one. The PS4 one here. If we look at D-pads, this what D-pad is a, seems smaller than this one. So, the analogs look bigger. Buttons look a tad bit smaller, and you can see the L, the L1, L2, R2, R1 buttons are bigger on this pad. Oh, you got back triggers as well. Oh snap! So you got the back triggers as well. So this kind of like, this reminds me of the Xbox One pad. I think this is quite cool. It's definitely quite cool. This is to screw off these two on the back. You know, say for example, if you feel like it's uncomfortable and stuff, and you don't want these here, you can t screw this off. Push this down, take them out. Now, my main concern with this pad is, can it work for Street Fighter Five? This is, I'm a Street Fighter player, I play Tekken and stuff like that as well. So I want to see if this pad actually, you know, is better than a standard PS4 pad. Playing Street Fighter and stuff on a normal PS4 pad is cool. But, you know, can this live up? Can this be a better pad? Let's see how it goes, man. Alright, so, we're testing out pretty much the Raiju. Ah, here we go, let's recognize. Oh, this feels a bit more, this feels weird. Oh, snap. What happened? Oh, there, there are no fabrications in this review, you know? Like, I'm just gonna give my honest opinion. Obviously, I feel like this pad just feels, feels like Xbox pad. Like, obviously, we got Xbox pad here. As you can see. As you can see the comparison. Kind of the same, kind of the same, you know. Obviously the Xbox special pad has something on the back. But this is not an Xbox pad, this is not an Xbox one, it's an Xbox 360 pad, so let's forget about that. But yeah, as you can see here, it's got that type of Xbox One feel. Concentrated, or should I say fixated more on the analogs. The analogs seem, seem definitely good for like a shooting game or something like that. Let's see what it's saying, man. But I've never been an analog stick player. I've always been a D-pad player, which might be a might might be an issue. Let's just see how it goes. But this is more. I feel like this is more for like Call of Duty and games like that. I feel like this is proper for like those type of games. I like it though. You can tell that it's a premium quality control pad. Like even like with this part here and the rubber on the back, you could just tell it's a premium. You know, it's nice. Alright, so we're, we're going to get into... Even these buttons here, really nice, man. Alright, we're going to get into 
what are we gonna get into? We wanna show key display. See look, I can't get no down forward. It's hard to get down forward. Now if I do, yeah if I use analog, you see my point? If I use analog, I could get this out all the time. What's my, what's the back button? I think this is, yeah so the back button is, is acting as free kicks. And this one's acting as light kick. But I'm, I'm more than sure you can set it some way, somehow. Or if you want to, yeah, crazy. But yeah, so I'm saying, but this type of review, what I want to show is like how the D-pad is, because that's what people's asking on Twitter is like how's the how's the D-pad been? Yeah, as you can see here, it's it's quite hard. Like I could do, I'm trying to do ball head, but I could do ball head with this motion, and I'm not gonna lie, the the, the, the analog is really really good. But in terms of the D-pad, the D-pad is it's quite hard. See, like you have to proper. Hard man, but the analog is amazing. The analog is really, it's better than the, the, the official PS4 one. Like, yeah, it's way better. But why is that doing that? That's what I was just thinking, that's weird. Yeah, it's way better. So yeah, if I was to... Let's just pause this for a second. If I was to give my review on the Razer Raiju, I would say the pad is really, really good. The D-pad, for me, playing fighting games, I feel like it's a little stiff. But the analog stick itself is really, really good. It's not too stiff, it's loose. I really like it, man. I think it's, it's nice. For people that want the D-pad, I don't know if they're going to struggle. For me, I struggle with the D-pad. So, I don't know. But it's nice to have the little extra buttons here and stuff like that. And the pad, it just feels like a premium pad, man. It feels really good. You know, it's got a nice little plasticky rubber effect here. You know, got that extra extra stuff here. Which, you know, you can, I'm more than sure you can set them to be different buttons and stuff. You know, it's good. It kind of reminds me of, like, the Xbox One. I think it's limited edition or special edition pad. Where you can kind of take stuff away because it looks like you could take stuff away and um, remove them and stuff but i'm not going to do that in this review this review is pretty much purely for the people that play fighting games and they want to know if the d-pad works and how it feels how it looks and stuff like that and yeah as you can see that's how it works and yeah i find it hard to do a couple of the moves but yeah other than that yes yeah, it's, a, it's a really brilliant pad the d-pad like i said it, 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 I wouldn't use the D-pad for playing in the fighting games, I would have to use the analog, which is not a problem as you can see, me doing moves and stuff like that, it's not hard, I can still, I can still do moves, it's not hard, it's not hard at all, so yeah, this has been King J, so make sure you guys comment, rate and subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this man, peace.